I'm back to this field again because it's it's prime weather. May as well do it while it's not raining. And I've come armed with a few new well arrangements. I've got my spade, my gloves, which will, uh, and my detector's still screwed up, but it's taped up like that, and we'll just go with it until it breaks again, and then we'll see what happens. Anyway, on my left side, I've got this belt strapped. I've had to, have to strap a belt on. And uh, on my left side that holds this, the safety's on. Obviously, you don't want this bad boy going off accidentally. It's about a thousand times the size of the ones everyone else has. It'll probably blow, blow Queen Victoria's face off of a coil, actually. This is only to be used on anything sort of gold or silver. Nothing else can, can take the power of this. In fact, it does say on the warning label to be used with, by two hands only because of the recoil. I, I have to use it with one hand because I have to hold the camera with the other hand, but we'll do a few test shots. Um, I forgot to say on, on my right side is my, my toothbrush and my, my towel. So this this cleaning kit will clean will clean anything, right? Whoa! That is yep. That's exactly what we're after for cleaning. None of these twenty-five mil purified water thing ways. Just seven hundred and fifty. No wait, five hundred mil of hard. River water. Whoa. Let's go and blast off Queen Victoria's face off. Doing the woods, a fallen tree beside that field, and the first thing I found was under this huge big tree, so I had high hopes. Unfortunately, I've already used the spray master, it's just a piece of foil. I was expecting something better that deep. I may as well film this because this signal sounds half decent and it sounds like it's out now. Um, yeah, it should be just right in there. Sounds not bad. No, it's not there. This, this, this thing, a piece of lead, but what has it got on it? A blank piece of lead, probably. Right, this requires the, the spray master, but I have to turn the camera off. No, the spray master reveals that it's just a, a blank piece of lead. It looks like it could be folded, but don't ask me how you'd unfold that. Maybe with a pair of twire, pliers, which I don't carry on me, but I do have at home. So I'll unply it at home and see what happens. Good job, buddy. Make sure the safety is on. Certainly don't want this going off into your kidney. Right, yeah, there we go. Clump with a lead signal, but there's so much chance of disappointment in this one clump I'm going to film it as I break it up so there's what looks like a piece of lead there there's what looks like a piece of lead there there's a what could be an iron object there um, somewhere in the middle there is what could be a lead token um, there could be a couple of iron nails in there so we'll break it open live see what See what the good thing is, it's this piece of lead that is shaped into, clearly shaped into something, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what they did with this stuff. <laughs> Were there just the big lead parties where they just came onto the field and just burned lead? Yes! So let's burn as much lead as we can. What farmer allows it to be spread about? 
There you go, piece of lead. <laughs> Could be an animal, I suppose, like a dog lying down. That lead nonsense, because the next signal is here, can you see it? That looks to me like a greenish button or coin, so it could be old. Let's see. Oh, it's a coin. Can we get any detail off? Oh, let's see, let's see what happens. It'll probably, this, this is going to blast her face clean off her head. Look at it just blasting the 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 stuff away. Right, we'll do the other side because I don't still don't actually know what it is. Yes, blast it. Yes, we've got a date. Look at this. This is right. And then what we can do? Hold on a sec. Let's. Right, the date on this half penny is eighteen seven. Wait. I don't know if I, I wasn't recording there, so I don't know if you used, saw me use me this spray master, but it, it blasted her clean. I just need to dry it up a bit just now, so let me pause it again. Yep, it's been cleaned with a toothbrush, dried with a towel, sprayed by this. It's an 1877 one penny. 1877 11 years before Jack the Ripper was even about He could have touched this coin, perhaps You never know I'll take that, 1877 one penny uh, Another piece of anonymous lead That's a lovely little find, a little uh, watch I think that's a watch or a grandfather clock winder upper, the biggest, nicest one I've ever found. That's really nice. Just for the sake of it, may as well clean it up a bit. Turn it on. Now remember, you should always use two hands with this. God, it just blasts the gunk off. It's taking the coating off the spade itself. Right, any ideas on an age on that? Victorian at least, yeah. Whoops. Maybe Roman. <coughs> Powers through everything. Yeah, that could be Roman. I like that, that's really, really, really nice. That'll make a nice little ornament or something. Nice. Amazing, I haven't even touched this. This is right on the surface. Can you see it? It's a mini ball. Oh yes, I love those. Looks like it's uh, scuffed something, but it's in pretty good shape. It's scuffed something on that side. I love finding these. Nice, nice wee mini ball. I'll take that. That's a big one, whoops. Nice, on the surface two inches, I thought it was going to be a, a can or a, a, some some nonsense. <laughs> i take a little break just now, but I don't think that's too bad so far. In fact, I'm dead happy with that. Mini ball, a lovely little key, I'm assuming a wind up uh, key, and then a, an 1877 penny. 1877, the last person to touch this. Blows the mind. Blows the mind, but anyway, yeah, that's a good day so far. Right, good af afternoon. Um, I was gonna go back to that field that you've probably just watched me at for nine minutes, but I came here because I thought this would have been ploughed. This field, um, the cannon field, it hasn't been ploughed. Oh my god. But I'm just gonna do it anyway. I had my hand forced today by the weather. It was too nice. It was at it's 19, 20, 20 degrees and it's sunny. Although to be honest, it, it looks like it's gonna rain soon, which wouldn't surprise me. 
I came out, I thought this would have been ploughed, it hasn't, so I'm not expecting much. Still don't have a pointer, still don't have a trowel, and my detector's still snapped at the Arab. Um, <laughs> oh man, I've got so much else I should be doing, but I, I realised actually it's just about a year. I bought this phone to make these videos on the 27th of September last year. I don't know what the date is today, but it's around about then, so I thought I would come out and give it a shot and let's see what happens. Um, we know there's iron and lead in this field almost as if it's been planted deliberately, so I'm not going to talk or film much of that. I'll, I'll see what else comes up. I've been doing it about five minutes. I've got from there to here. I've decided not, not to waste my time. I'm going to go into that field there. Um, so I'll come back when I get my first signal. Right, here's the first signal, which was practically on the surface. I think it's uh, a button. No, it's not, it's just a washer, I think. Aye, that's just a washer. Never mind. I thought it was a nice old green button. Working on my second signal, but I'm still not sure what the deal is with these uh, snakes. If they're poisonous, if they can bite you or what, whatever. But every single... Look, there's another one. They're everywhere. Ooh. Anyway, where's that? I bet that's a blob of iron. It was. It was just a blob of iron. There we go. Third signal. And that's a big green, and I'm hoping this is going to be a buckle and not a pebble. Yeah, I'll be re really confused. It is, that's what we're after. Here we go. <sighs> Might get the spray master out for this. That's a nice big buckle. I've got about 20 of them now, but it's better than anything else I could find. <laughs> I'll take that, that's a nice little buckle. That's quite a big buckle actually. I'm still unsure on how to date these, but I think that's 1800s. And the smaller, squarer ones are medieval, but I don't know if that's right. Anyway, there we go, a buckle. I'll take that. Right, the next signal is so small and covered in earth that I don't know what it is. So I'm going to clean it with the spray master, which might completely obliterate it, but we'll give it a shot. That's what it's. That's what it was invented for, by yours truly. We'll pop that in there. Right, give me two secs. Right, here we go. Let's uh, make sure there's nothing in the line of sight. Safety off. Well, we're live. Right, make sure all animals are out of sight. Honestly, it's even cleaning my spade for me. That actually looks like a blob of iron. Are you joking me? What? What signal are you given? How dare you be iron? What is that, right? I think that's a button, it's... Right, I'm gonna... I'll call, come back in a sec. <laughs> I'm really not sure what that is. What it's made of, what its purpose was, I don't know. It looks like a button that's been fired into something else and got stuck. Who knows? Oh, finally! 
Right, I'm just going to get the spray master because I know this is one thing that can definitely handle it because it's not made of iron or lead Oh I'm shocked, I didn't think that would be a good signal Sod the laws, safety off right now Goldie, step back Stay well away That I can see all, uh, whoa! I've never seen one like it, but it says sixpence. It does say sixpence on it, but it's huge. Look at that. Nice. Right, let's look at the imprint it's left. I almost thought there was another one under it. A sixpence. Oh, not bad at all. Right, I'm going to definitely clean this with the spray master. I'll come back in a sec, see what date this is. Well, it oh, instantly loses focus as soon as I turn on. The date is 1943, so it is fairly modern, but... And I don't know my coins, so I don't know if that's all silver or half silver or what, but... 1943, sixpence. I'll take that, I'll take the buckle. Yeah, nice. And look, look at the job the spray master did. Honestly, nice. Happy with that. Dead happy with that. There is a bit of fun in not having a pointer because breaking open these clumps of mud one by one is quite fun when Sutton gets revealed. And I think that's a button. Yeah, it's got the loop on the back. I'll give it a clean, but I don't think there'll be anything on it. But that's a, n a nice big button. Nice. I'll clean it up. <sighs> yeah, it is just blank. I find a lot of these big buttons and they're always blank and I don't know if it's because they were just cheap for animals or something well nah that's ridiculous an animal doesn't need a button but they must have just been the cheap ones or something or they had a design and it's long gone I'll research that he says but it's got the bo bo bobble on the back so it's nice I'm not sure about this piece, I don't even know if it's lead or, or whatever it is, but it's been purposefully curved and it's got these two ends that look, well, to me they, they look like they've been bitten off, maybe part, part of a clasp or something. I'm not sure if you can even, I see, there's a definite sort of pattern there and on the other side the same. Maybe that's sort of class blood or something, or maybe not. Who knows? That's the thing. I'll just pretend. Here we go. The rain's behaved itself so far. So it's been a good day.